My name is JP Gervais and I am the Chief Agricultural Economist at Farm Credit Canada. My role is to provide economic analysis to help our customers understand the drivers of agri-food markets, as well as to drive good business strategy at FCC. Brazil is a major producer and exporter of agricultural commodities. In fact, it is the third largest agricultural exporter in the world behind the United States and the European Union. It has a young, growing population of approximately 200 million, making it the sixth most populous country. It experienced rapid growth in GDP over the last several years, and the economy is expected to continue to grow at approximately 4% a year for the next several years, according to the International Monetary Fund. While per capita income in Canada is approximately four times larger than it is in Brazil, Brazilian consumers' income is expected to increase by 25% over the next six years. Rapid economic growth in emerging markets normally bodes well for Canadian producers and agribusinesses. But Brazil is unlike other regions in the world where the middle class is expanding in part because of its performance in agricultural world markets so it is at least as much a competitor as it is an opportunity. A quick answer is basically everywhere. Brazil is a major producer and exporter of both corn and soybeans. In fact, Brazil is challenging the U.S. as the world's largest producer and exporter of soybeans. The USDA projects Brazil to be the largest exporter of soybeans over the next 10 years. Given the size of the Brazilian soybean crop, it makes sense that it is a major exporter of soy oil. Soybean and canola oil compete for market share. Now if you look at corn, corn exports more than tripled from 2008 to 2012. In the red meat sector, Brazil is the second largest beef producer in the world behind the US and ahead of countries like Australia, the EU, and Canada. It is home to the world's largest meat processing company, JBS, which has processing plants around the world, including in Canada. Brazil also produces roughly twice as much pork as Canada, but a lower share of its production is sold in export markets compared to Canada. Brazil accounts for less than 1% of ag imports and exports from Canada, and we currently do not have a trade agreement with Brazil. But like Canada, Brazil is part of different trade negotiations. For example, they are negotiating a deal with Europe. Brazil and Canada produce very similar crops and are both major exporters, which means that countries are likely to continue competing with each other in crop, beef and pork markets. It does face major challenges in getting its crop to market. Rail and port facilities in Brazil are not well designed to handle the current size of the crop. A lack of on-farm storage and quite frankly less than optimal transportation infrastructure are major obstacles for Brazilian producers. 